Snap Inc. just rolled out an in-app voter registration feature. And of course, you know Snap Inc. is the uh, uh, the company behind uh, Snapchat. So this uh, that little piece of information came to our piece, came to our notice uh, from this piece written here on. Um, Shape Investment Research, and that's at uh, Friday, August the 7th, 2020. They have it that uh, the social media stalwart Snap Inc. was up 1.8% at uh, $21.75 that afternoon. The company just unveiled its new in app voting registration feature which it uh, rolled out in an effort to target uh, young voters. It should be noted that uh, Tencent, one of the Chinese companies contending with potentially banned apps in the US, owns a 12% stake in Snap, which could also be drawing attention to the stock to, to, um, today. That was uh, the 7th of August, 2020. The stock was uh, up 33.6% in the last year with solid support at its 70 day moving average and it's seen a surge in bullish activity in its options uh, options pits. Okay, so far 227,000 calls have crossed the tape. Double what's typically seen at this point. The most popular is the August. Uh, 2250 call where positions are being bought to open. The September 26 call is also seeing some action with positions open there as well. Okay, um, we'll uh, try and see if we can look at the options. Let's uh, like click in a tab while. Uh, we're waiting for that to open up. We can just quickly have a look at the summary page here on uh, uh, Charles Schwab. And you can see it uh, for this period here, it's, uh, it's been up to 32.54% for the last six months, I think. And it has a market capitalization of 31.7 billion. Enterprise value of 30.5 billion. Short interest is uh, here. It says it's 10.10%. Uh, it take it will take three days to cover, and uh, it decreased by seven percent as at uh, Friday, the 7th of, uh, of August 2020. And uh, there's a, some piece of news here. Snap secures agreement with. Major music firms to add uh, songs to video posts, media reports. Uh, okay. Has uh, secured the right to music from major music companies, including including Water Music Group, Basa Music Publishing Group, and Melvin to add songs to videos. Okay. And uh, coming down here, you can see. In the last one month, it is down 15.4% from uh, previous previous uh, uh, records. So, but um, within that time frame as well, look at what, what uh, uh, S&P 500 and its uh, subsidiaries have uh, uh, have uh, printed for that period. For the last six months, it's 25.98% uh, for the last one year, 28.76%. Not, uh, not the sort of thing we see uh, with other, some, other, some other tech stocks. And then uh, these are ETFs holding uh, SNAP, we have Invesco, uh, First Trust, US Equity Opportunity, and Arc Next. And, uh, we all obviously know what uh, they do, so we're not going to cover that piece of business summary. And 
and uh, here on the charts we can see um, from from the 21st of uh, April it has been trending higher and higher and higher and uh, uh, I think the peak was uh, the 8th of uh, July and that price was uh, can we see what the price was 26 and 32 okay before we continue let's see whether let's get this rolling while we are covering this and then since that time it has continued to largely move sideways and of late it has uh, since the 23rd of July has been pretty much the case and this is the simple moving average for 20 days it's a trend line it's uh, currently indicating this that uh, the moment the momentum for now has uh, lost its, its uh, steam but 50 day is uh, not exactly indicating that at the moment um, obviously since uh, the 50 day is a covers uh, a much uh, wider data, data set so it will it may take some time to reflect that so but the fact that the 20 day is, is reflecting that indicates that uh, um, obviously things have uh, you know have uh, the, the sideways movement has uh, hit home you know because uh, 20 days very much a uh, short term and um, uh, yeah we don't have a 10, ten day if not um, it will there's a chance that it will also reflect uh, the loss of momentum as well you can see what's going on here in the back D you can see the, the back D and signal line they are all now in neg negative territory and uh, you can see as well uh, the RSI is at 43.13% for in the, the lower half of uh, the spectrum and um, one can conclude that uh, this upward trend indicated that uh, investors were very much bullish or were looking forward during the lockdown period but now the now that the lockdown has eased up in, in well it eased up in um, some parts of the US and uh, parts of the world around uh, July no doubt that's uh, July I guess uh, that's uh, July so they probably began to uh, release uh, let go of the, of, the, of the of the gas on, uh, on um, on snap so a look at uh, the option side of things the this piece uh, was saying something about uh, um, this is so far Okay, the most popular is the tw August 22.50. Let's see the August 22.50. August 22.50. Yes, August 22.50 has 10,599 uh, open interests, which is about, uh, I think, that, that's, uh, that, that uh, open interest uh, is associated with uh, 1 million and uh, 599 uh, that, that, that 1 million 59,000 shares so and then uh, which other one was the next one the September 26 call. Let's see that to the September 26 call. September 26. So let's see what, what 
let's be sure what, what we're looking for. The September 26 call is also seeing some action. September 26 call, we don't have uh, that here. This is the 25th, I think. Well, we can't see anything on that. Okay, so, um, but we normally uh, have a scale of looking at uh, um, stocks among other things. So we have uh, been able to, based on that uh, uh, seven day simple moving average indicated in that piece, it's over here. It says uh, the 70 day moving average is uh, with solid support at its 70 day moving average. So based on that, uh, we have used 70 day as the, uh, uh, the range of data we are going to, we used to derive uh, what we have here. So average price over 70 days is $21 and uh, 0 0.8. And then standard deviation for that data set so over 70 days is uh, $2.76. And then one standard deviation, which is the data set for 68%, which is 68% uh, of data set is uh, <coughs> $5.53, which is, uh, with this figure, this one standard deviation is uh, about two times, uh, two times when you multiply standard deviation by two, then um, the price range for one standard deviation of 68% of the data set is $23.84 to $26.61. So, and we know that that's at Friday. Um, when the market's closed. Yeah, it's closed at uh, $21.67. So it is currently not trading within its one standard deviation. Sorry, for, for, uh, it's currently not trading within its one standard deviation for 68% of its uh, uh, historical uh, prices. That is the closing prices uh, for the last 70 days. It's not, you know, trading within that range. So uh, when it concerns uh, standard deviation, 68% is uh, the least of uh, the data set. And then the other one, the next one is about 95%. And then the last one is about 99% or thereabouts. So based on this, the least data set, it's not uh, um, trading within that range. So in, by certain uh, metrics, that can be a good indication to uh, probably uh, jump into the stock to buy and, uh, <clears throat> and it's obviously you can see just trading below the 50 to 20 day and the 50 day simple moving average and this is a 200 days also but it's trading above the 200 day simple moving average and the, the, the 200 the, it's uh, 17 dollars and uh, 0 0.1 0 0.9 that's the value so about uh, The average price is uh, for 70 day is uh, $21 and 0.08. So it's, uh, yes, based on that, it is likely trading above that as well. So, but for the other ones, the average, simple average, average is above uh, 70 or thereabout. It's probably not, uh, uh, it's probably trading above or below them. It's, you know, so the, the value for the 50 days is 22.51, the 20 days is 22.95. So if you, if, you, if you think that's a sufficient pullback and uh, also owing to, and also um, uh, considering the, this short ratio of 10.1%, and yeah, you know, if you think that's uh, enough skepticism towards the stock, you know, this uh, sideways movement it has had uh, since July, 
and uh, and all things, you know, uh, including the fact that um, it's uh, doing its bit to getting uh, more users, getting more active, uh, getting more involved in, in its app, you know, um, as concerns uh, put a voter registration. If you think all those things are a plus for Snap, you know, then you decide, you know. So we'll continue to do our best to provide you as much information as we like, as uh, many pop as any, as many uh, stocks in news that uh, come up that we come across. So you know, this is left for you to decide. You know whether you're going to go in to Snap for the long term, for the short term. You know. Okay. Thank you very much again for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell as well. Thank you.